Snapchat adds concerning new feature. PBX systems hacker sentenced to prison. Data breach on WWE. And nuclear facilities at cyber risk. This is Hacker Daily for July 7, 2017. And I'm your host, Kirsten Smith. Snapchat has announced a new feature being added, SnapMap, that will allow users to share their location in real time. Its popularity among young people has many parents and schools concerned with followers being able to physically track a user's travel routes to home, work, school, etc. Snapchat has commented that most connections between users and followers are close friends, but it's also true that many users have never even met some of their followers. With technology constantly innovating, it's crucial that parents make sure their children are aware of dangers that can come with sharing too much information on certain social media platforms. A Pakistani man has been sentenced to four years in federal prison for laundering millions of dollars with a fake premium phone service. Mohammed Sohail Kismani and his cohorts hacked into PBX telephone networks using their pay-per-minute services to rack up money between 2008 and 2012. His accomplice, Noor Aziz Uddin, is still wanted. Personal data from millions of wrestling fans was left unprotected on an Amazon Web Services storage database exposing names, birthdays, and email addresses. This information was easily accessible without a username or password needed. Luckily, no credit card information was included in this breach, but the WWE is still investigating and ensures its continuous efforts towards cybersecurity for their fans. Regardless, no information should ever be accessed without prompting some form of authorization. For the past few months, nuclear power stations and other energy facilities have been targeted for sophisticated cyber attacks. Although the intent is unclear, there is yet to be an indication of a threat to the safety of operations. It's been reported that the actor responsible is likely an advanced persistent threat, also known as a hacker backed by governments. The major concern behind these series of hacks is the motive. What are they trying to find or potentially do? The FBI and Department of Homeland Security has warned power plant operators of possible vulnerabilities and explains how these advanced levels of malware on our critical infrastructure is a serious threat to national security that the United States will continue to confront. Well, that's all I have for you guys today, and thank you for tuning in for your current InfoSec highlights at Hacker Daily. This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. You can follow us at Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. We'll see you next time.